I don't understand the mindset of these YouTubers who refuse to get a second job. It's like they always make up the same exact excuses. Every time somebody mentioned get a job, they always be like, well, if I get a second job, I won't have enough time to do YouTube, which is a load of bullshit because I know regular nine to five people with multiple jobs, single mothers, college students, they have to pay tuition, study and go to work. Uh, my partner, he used to have multiple jobs. Uh, he used to work a, a shitload and he used to catch seizures at work. So, I mean, if he could work multiple jobs, catching seizures and shit, there's no excuse for YouTubers to not get a second job to, to support themselves. I don't know if it's ego. I don't know if it's shame. I don't know if they think they're better than jobs, than these regular jobs. I just don't understand these YouTubers' mindset. I don't know if they think somebody's going to notice them working a regular job. And then that person going to be like, hey, aren't you the guy who used to do such and such on YouTube? Or I don't know if these YouTubers... I don't know if these YouTubers think somebody's gonna post them online and be like such and such work at this grocery store now. I don't I don't know I don't know what it is. But it has to be something in the back of their mind that they think they're too good for a second job. Like I don't I don't understand, bro. Getting a second job is just nothing but positive benefits. Like I don't understand why you wanna get a second job, bro. Or at least a side gig or something, dog. Like come on, this YouTube shit ain't doing it for you. At least get a side gig to help you Stay afloat, my boy. There's a small YouTuber called Fusion Fusion Wolf Alpha, I think that's the name of it. And uh, this guy, this guy worked three jobs. And he's a small channel with a thousand subscribers. If this small channel can work three damn jobs, this man has three jobs, bro. A pool cleaner, he work at a, a amusement park. And uh, I think the third the third job is, uh, I don't remember the third job he worked at. But I know he got. I know he's a goddamn pool cleaner and a goddamn working an amusement park. If this man can work three damn jobs, what is stopping these big YouTubers from working a side gig? And arguably, these big YouTubers should have a lot more money, right? This shit, well, if they're saving anyway. But then again, if they're asking people for money, I'm guessing these motherfuckers ain't saving. So, but that's that's besides the point. The point I'm making here is that this small YouTube channel, bro, this small YouTube channel has three jobs. He wants to do YouTube full time but he knows this shit ain't paying like that so he knows he has at least he's, he's going to have to sacrifice a couple a couple years you know a couple couple years to, to make this shit work you know he's willing to work these three jobs he's willing to and he's in college by the matter of fact this man's in college too bro he's working three jobs and he's in college bro this man got a better work ethic this man has a, a better hustle a better grind than these big youtubers bro how this small YouTube channel, how this small YouTube channel put these big YouTubers to shame like this, bro? It makes no sense. Shout out to Fusion Wolf Alpha. I hope you make it on this YouTube shit. I see you grinding. I see you hustling. Uh, it, it's hard out here for small channels because the, the, these these small channels will be dying at a high ass rate. You know, I think back in January, back in January, they used to talk about how these big YouTubers leaving YouTube and shit. Fuck all of these big YouTubers. These small channels are leaving at a higher, a higher goddamn rate, man. I follow a lot of small channels. I'm talking about in the hundreds, and they always quit YouTube, bro. They always start off motivated. Uh, they always saying, "Well, I want to do this YouTube shit. I'm gonna try to do this YouTube shit. I want to make it on YouTube." But a lot of these small channels never fucking make it, bro. It, it, it's really goddamn depressing. I'm not gonna lie. It's really depressing seeing all these. Small channels are motivated, but they don't make it within a year time frame. They always be quitting six months in, and it's it's really fucking sad, bro. It's it's like very depressing. I'm not gonna lie, but that's besides the point. Um, this man Fusion Wolf Alpha is out here grinding. Um, I know a I know another YouTuber who he's he's actually kind of big, like in a damn what three hundred thousand. I know this man grinding too. Shout out to the gamer twenty three twenty three. Uh, this man. He, he, um, I think back in 2016 or what, 20, 2016, I think it was, or 2014, one of the two, this man was struggling, bro, financially, this man was struggling, he didn't have no goddamn money like this, YouTube wasn't paying like that, you know what he did, he went and got a second job, bro, I think he went work at, what, Party City, or Target or something like that, he said, in those years, bro, he, he had to, he had to grind, bro, he had to go back and get a second job. And now, like, fast forward now, in 2024, this man is in a way better position he was in in 2016. He's not broken. 
This man got fucking money. Well, I think he do. I don't know this man's background, and I don't know the, the damn finances in his background, right? I'm just going to, I'm just going by what he said. He's in a better financial position now than he was in 2016. So what I'm saying is sometimes, bro, it's okay. It's okay to go back and have to grind, bro. It's okay to have, it's okay to make, um, I can't remember. I'm trying to think of the word. It's okay to have, to backtrack. It's okay to have some falls, some pits, some falls. It's okay to have to go back and start from step one. It's just sometimes you get setbacks, bro. All right? Sometimes you get setbacks. Sometimes you might have to go get a second job to support yourself. You know, because that shit is not temporary. That's what I'm, that's what, that's what I'm trying to get in these YouTubers' heads, bro. They always making excuses, my dude. I can't get a second job because the time, yada, 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 bullshit, right? But if you get a second job to support yourself, my boy, you will have some damn leeway with your money. You will have some type of wiggle room with your money, bro. And you can grind on this YouTube shit comfortably without worrying about when, where's, where, when, when, when is the next? Well, well, I'm trying to think. I'm sorry. I don't write scripts, so I'm kind of just blabbing and shit. Um, you don't have to worry about if your next YouTube chat is going to be enough. If that makes any sense on fuck I'm, what the fuck I'm saying. Sometimes, bro, you just have setbacks, man. It's okay to have setbacks. That shit is normal, bro. Put that fucking pride to the side, man. Put the pride to the side. Put that ego to the side and go get a second job, bro. Get a second job, dude. If this man with 300, 300,000 subscribers, the Gamer23, if this, if this man can go get a second job and work at Party City in 2016, if he can do it, you can too, damn it, okay? You can have setbacks. It's only temporary, all right? It's just there for the meantime, right? The Gamer2323, this man is not, he, does, he, does, he doesn't even have a second job anymore, right? He does Twitch, he does YouTube. Uh, I don't know if he does anything else, but he his Twitch income is good, bro. It's good to keep him afloat. So he said, in a way, I don't know the background of his finances, but yeah, though, man, it's okay to have a second job, bro. That shit's only temporary. You can do it, bro. Put that, put that, put that down. Um, put that pride to the side, bro. Put that ego to the side, man. It's all right, bro. It's okay.